Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Emma and this is my sister Maggie. Hey. <laughs> Today we are filming a You Ask, We Tell. So I put a little thing on my Instagram story and you guys asked us a bunch of questions and now we're going to answer them all for you and try to make it as juicy as possible. I mean, Maybe. I guess. Yeah. Just like, like honest. A, yeah, as honest as possible. Yeah. So let's get right into it. The first question is your lives have definitely calmed down a lot. How have y'all adjusted? So as you guys know, before quarantine, I feel like we were traveling like literally three times a month. And now that quarantine is like we've gone through it, the whole phase of just like staying home literally for like six months straight, yeah. we were home and we didn't leave. It made me appreciate pe like being home more and not like, I feel like I used to always have to travel and I felt like I needed to be somewhere all the time. But now that I'm home, I really like it. And I get to just like live my life at a normal pace rather than it being fast all the yeah, time. Yeah, me too. I feel like for me, I, not that I don't love traveling, yeah. not that I'm like, I'm not, I'm so grateful for it and all the experiences that we've had. I just feel like definitely like I love the slow paced life. I feel like I really get to connect with myself. I know mm -hmm. you've connected with yourself so much. And I think that once you slow down and you're just like, in the present moment and taking things day by day and not just being so crazy and busy all the time you get to really like get to know yourself on a whole deeper level and i just think it's been really amazing overall yeah. and, and the adjustment both, was the adjustment was very smooth and i feel yeah. like it was needed mm -hmm. me too so. well i mean i guess we can start off with this one because clearly a lot of people have said it why do you and Maggie do and buy the exact same stuff, look like one person? Why don't you guys have your own personality? Why do you just copy each other? Blah, 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 blah. There's so many questions like that. Yeah. Which I, was I feel like, yeah, a lot of people always ask that. But if you have a sister, I feel like it's a sister thing. Not that yeah. we are like trying to be the same person. We're completely different people. Like if you know us in real life, I feel like it's easy to say that on the internet because we do everything together. What you guys see that we film and post. Yeah, they only see a tiny bit of our life. They don't know what really goes on and how yeah, we, we all, we both are, are so different. Like we're yes, very, very You are different. very like mature and like Kourtney Kardashian vibe. Like you're so just poised and like Thank wise. You. Like yes, I'm mature and yeah, but I'm also like, yeah, you're crazy and like person. funny kind you know yeah i mean like you're funny too but like it's like we have like different senses person. of humor but we do like the same things yeah. like half the people on the internet like the same thing so i feel like it is just because like we're sisters but also when you're best friends with them with somebody think about how like you and your best friend share the same interests it just so happens your that like, we, like other sentence and stuff you yeah know how you do that we're literally she's my best friend yeah, she's my sister too, but it just makes us even more like we share the same blood. Yeah, we just like, we don't mean to do it on like a level Zeus. Um, just like going on, like to actually answer the question, I feel like we don't do it on purpose. Like we genuinely just like have the same interests and we just have so much fun together yeah. and we enjoy like sharing the same interests too. It makes it so fun. Yeah, and it's like makes it easy for us to do things because say like we, I don't know, go to a restaurant, we get the same food. It's like easy for us to order because when we just like get the same thing. I, I don't mean, know. It just that happens easier. like only sometimes, but yeah, I don't know. I just feel like that question gets asked so much with us and also it's really not that big of a deal. You know what yeah. I mean? Like you do it's you, we'll do well. us. Yeah. And I don't know, just everyone's like, you're allowed to have like the same interests as people. How do you find motivation to get up early in the morning and keep your house clean, etc.? It's so, it, okay, the thing is that like, it's a good question, but it's hard for me to answer because I'm just, it's like part of my life. You yeah, know? I just feel like the main reason why we are the way that we are and like we do the things that we do, like get up early, have like our workout routine, like the healthy lifestyle, organize life, our like, life organized. It's just because like of how good it makes me feel. At least I know for I, you too, yeah. just like makes us feel so good. And I just like love feeling good and doing what makes me feel good. So I love like sticking to this like healthy lifestyle because it makes me at least like perform at my best and I wake up every day and I'm just genuinely like relaxed and happy and yeah yeah and I feel my best when I go to bed early and I wake up early and when I wake up and my room is like clean and mm -hmm. everything's put 
back the way it's supposed to be and then when I go into like my kitchen everything's clean I always clean up the yeah night have you heard that quote about how like kind of obviously like you are who you surround yourself with mm -hmm. and same goes with like your house if you yes. have like a cluttered surround cluttered you're gonna space have a cluttered, cluttered mind yeah cluttered space cluttered mind yeah. so <laughs> that's it's it's literally true where do you see your life in five years and where do you think you'll be geographically like geographically and career wise five years from now so it gives me chills i would be 20 i'd be tw turning 29 right yeah 29 because i'm turning 24 I'd be your age and you'd be my age that's crazy <laughs> i feel like i'd have a boyfriend by then i feel like <laughs> you would okay. too i feel like you would too i don't like career wise it's hard to say like career wise you never know because you never know what I didn't know that my life would be like this five years yeah, ago. Yeah, and five years ago, I was it was I working at the gas station five years ago? No, that no. was like three years ago. See, life changes oh so much God. in three years. I was babysitting five years ago. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like five years from now, I probably will have like a family. You'll be living, living in a house. house. Yeah, but I will be definitely living in Boston. Like I don't want to live anywhere yeah. else. Um, well, in Massachusetts, like probably right outside of Boston, but. Yeah, I'll be in Boston for the most part. I think so too. Just maybe like traveling, you yeah. know, living your best life. I don't know. It's good to also going along with that. I feel like it's good to keep kind of like tabs on your life and have goals. But for me, at least I don't like to get my heart set on like these specific goals that like I want my life to be like just because I want to let life like unfold the way that it is going to. Yeah. And obviously like I'm a firm believer in like manifestation and law of attraction, but I feel like just letting life do its thing because like everyone has a plan. I find you when know? I get too ahead of myself and I plan out my life before it's happened, I get way too stressed out and I think that the, my life has to go that way. Yeah, and then you and don't then even enjoy the moment. And then when it doesn't work out the way you think it's gonna work out, you get so down on yourself. Yeah, you know. And I feel like it's hard to like enjoy the moment and oh, like it's where so you hard. are. Do you still have matching tattoos? Yes. Oh yeah, we do. I have an E on oh, my wrist. Oh, and I, we have the presents one. Yeah, on and we have a, pre a tattoo in cursive that says presents. On our hip, and I have an M on my wrist. How your high school experiences differed. You were very sports-oriented, and... Yeah, my high school... Okay, my earring is, like, falling. I don't know why I always play with my earrings. At our high school experiences differed so much. Like, I... You went to high school in our town, where yeah, we lived. literally 10 minutes from our house. And I went to high school, like, 45, 50 minutes away from my house so I like commuted there every day and on Cape Cod you get to do school choice so it doesn't matter what town you live in you can go to any high school in any like school district so I chose to go to Falmouth High it was a public school in Falmouth Massachusetts and I played ice hockey so I decided to go there because a lot of the girls on my club ice hockey team that I had played with for two years before high school they went to Falmouth and I just wanted to continue playing with them. So I chose to go to Falmouth for hockey and played hockey all through high school. We had so much fun, played at the garden, the TD garden, if you guys don't know what that is, it's like where the Bruins play, the Celtics. We like won the state championship and stuff. So it was very sports oriented, like Emma said. And you were like never home because you were so far away. Yeah. So we weren't really close when you were in high school. Yeah, and you were so, so far and I was young so young too. I was you know? literally in like fourth grade when you were freshman. But yeah. And then for me for high school, it was so close to our home. My I went to DY, which is Dennis Yarmouth, and it was literally ten minutes away from our house. And all my friends were in that area, so I was always with my friends and yeah. I just had a very social high school experience. Yeah, I played sports, but like then I stopped to do YouTube, so it was kind of of like hey, you just did your thing yeah i did my thing i was like chilling, chilling. had fun i love that <laughs> any boy tips do you have a boy tip to give do i have a boy tip i i, I have tip. so many I have a boy tip. <laughs> what's your I boy, tip? A boy tip <laughs> okay, so first. for me for a boy tip would probably just be like to not take shit from any guys okay. like that would be my boy tip yeah my boy tip it's so vague because i have so many for different like yeah things you know what would like your top boy tip be my top boy tip oh i have two so you give one and then i'll give another and then you'll okay one. but my top boy tip would probably be don't change who you are to make a boy like oh, you oh that's a good one that yeah. is a good one because it doesn't work out i know yeah and then it's like not fun because no, you can't be yourself no yeah it, but if you're fully yourself you have the best relationship with that guy yeah and going along with that mine i feel like would be communication is key oh, and like yeah. always telling a boy like if you like him tell him just, that you like him, tell him just him. tell him and be open about how you feel and like be open to if he does something that bothers you and not in a rude way but in a way where you can like open a mature way 
and just say like hey I just want to let you know like X Y and Z this bothered me and just see if you guys can like talk it out because if something bothers you and you keep it in trust me I've learned from experience it's like does nothing and also like I said before like not taking shit from a guy not all guys are like this but there's guys I've dealt with guys on. like in my days where I was just too scared to stick up for myself and I feel like don't let a boy like walk all over you and think that just because he's a guy that he is just like stronger than you and can like talk down to you because that's not the case and no. girls stand up <laughs> girls. boys stand up to them that is like my yeah and if you're a boy don't ever try to, don't ever try to cross me don't <laughs> <laughs> um uh, my other boy tip that I have is this is something that is I feel like it's is it very known? I feel like not everyone knows this. I mean, you should, but guys are not as mature as girls and they take a while to mature. Like a guy that's like, say 18 years old, literally acts like he's 14. Guys are just like so behind in maturity. So you kind of have to yeah. try to work with their mature levels. And back to what Maggie said about communication, really communicate with them because sometimes they just don't get it. <laughs> Yeah, and I feel like sometimes boys, like, at least when they're younger, they'd be too scared to, like, tell you how they feel. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or, like, too scared to, I don't know. I just remember being younger, and it was always so wishy-washy, and I was just like, what? Like, what's the deal? Me with guys that are my age, so wishy-washy, but then guys that are older, completely bad, Yeah, because they get it. And they know what they want. Okay. I mean, hopefully. <laughs> sometimes. We're praying. I know. Next question. <laughs> literally like never talked about i know i like tried to talk about it like two years ago in a q a and then i didn't yeah and like i've literally I've never, never talked, talked about, about this. it but i mean like it's whatever yeah i mean both. it will be it's a good learning experience for i think people. so too yeah so what your first time when was it not like where or anything but like when was it and what you thought okay so i'll go first because Ew. Okay. <laughs> Mine, I was literally in high school. I was a sophomore in high school. And I I think I was 16. It was spring, my sophomore year. And my was boy too. was older <laughs> than me. And he was a senior. And I remember like he liked me. And I liked him. Like we were technically like dating. But I don't know. The relationship was like so weird. And I like didn't actually like him. I feel like I liked the idea no i liked mm. my the boy i dated for like literally forever in high school who was like my best friend since i was in like eighth grade like i was literally in love with him but again just like a wishy-washy boy it was just like he we didn't date we didn't end up dating till my like junior year until like we both matured so we had never like been officially together in the past like we would talk and stuff like be talking and then like we would stop talking you know that feeling too when you stop talking to a guy and like i don't want to talk to you anymore and you're literally sick <laughs> yeah. ew i thought that my like freshman sophomore year but anyway so i was so sick of like being like not broken up with because when you're talking to someone they say they don't want to talk to you anymore it's like i mean i guess it's like, weird because it's not like it's a not a breakup, breakup yeah. but it's like you know what i mean it just it sucks more it's sure. just like that feeling so yeah. you guys get that i was so over it and i was so sick of it so if the older guy likes me and you know who like the boy doesn't want to be with me then i'm just going to be with this other guy and so he obviously like made me feel so good and made me feel like i was like beautiful and you know what i mean yeah he, like sweet, they just talk me sweet talk you ew and want. then guess what Ugh, I can't believe that I ever did that when I was so young and I didn't even like actually really have feelings for him. I feel like I don't you know. Like the idea and like no, we just like did it and then we like broke up and we never really like talked again or hung out and it was just like Ew. did not make me feel good at all. Ew. And I definitely learned from it because like that time I was just like I hated that feeling. I don't mm -hmm. like that. And then I have always been in like a serious relationship since. So yeah, the only other boy, like I've never had a one eight stand or anything like that. If you Same. like, that's totally fine if you have. Um, but personally for me, like I just don't like the way that I just learned from my experience the first time that I didn't like the way that that felt. I just think that it's something that should be like meaningful with somebody that you love and not just something to like throw around. I feel like I just wanted to like respect myself in the way that I felt. 
and I know everyone's like so different and everyone's gonna feel differently about the situation it's like you do you your body your choice but that's just personally how I felt and that's my story <laughs> okay mine was I was 16 also right yeah I was 16 because it was oh, yeah, my junior year. Year, year so it was spring of my junior year and I'm 16 I'm so young for my grade and the boy was my boyfriend at the time and it was both like mine and his first time so yeah. it was kind of just like i don't know it wasn't like good because it's just like your first times both Aww. of us so it was kind of just like we we're so young and like just experimenting yeah <laughs> <laughs> But well, I mean, you trusted him. You yeah, no, him, see, you know? that's the thing. Like, I, the reason why I chose to have him be like my first was because I really trusted him and like really, like loved him at the time. And I just thought that that would yeah. be, I don't know, that was. I like, I'm glad that it was with him and not with someone. Yeah. Oh so my, my god. My second time around, when after him and I broke up, that was like the kind of just like the rebound. No, no, it's kind of like what you explained with, oh, yeah, yeah, it just makes you feel sick. It makes you feel sick. And you're just like, yeah, yeah. But it's all what I've learned. learned. It's all learning experiences yeah. in life. And also, you should never be so hard on yourself. If you make a decision that you don't like, you can't dwell on it and you can't like beat yourself up over it. Take beat it yourself a, up over it. Take it as a lesson. Mm -hmm. Learn from it. Know to not make the same mistake twice. And you have to move on because the past is in the past for a reason. And you just have to like live in the present moment and like move forward. You know, yeah. you can't really dwell on it that much. No. Um, but yeah, it is a learning experience. And I mean, you're never really gonna know until you experience yeah. things, you know? So I just feel like, yeah, be safe. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> anyway, I can't. <laughs> What's the age gap between you and your sister? Uh, five years. Yeah, five years. I'm the 23, 23 knows that. you're 19. 19. Well, technically it's like four oh, years. Yeah, four and a half. But <laughs> when you're, you're, like our birthdays are a few months apart. I don't know. It's confusing. But yeah. It's really basically not confusing. confusing. No, I know. You were like, born in 2001. I was born in 1996. Yeah. So it's not fully five years. It's like four but and a few months. to say five years. Yeah. Do you believe in soulmates? Yeah. I do. I believe in I soulmates and I believe in friend soulmates. Yeah. Do you have a friend soulmate? I do have a friend soulmate. So do I. Yeah. Who's yours? Oh! <laughs> what the heck? And oh Kat. My God. No way. Who's well, I guess you're mine too, Kaylee. Yeah. It's say, like my friend Kat 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 is mine too. Yeah. Because I love that. You know how you and Kaylee are like mm -hmm. on the same. Kat soul and path. I are the same too. Same soul path. Like same. I love that. It's crazy. We talk about it all the time, and it's like. Whoa. Biggest pet peeves. Uh, I love this one. Okay. What's yours? About with what? Just like pet peeve, like something that you just like do not like. My biggest pet peeve in life is when people say like, I'm dying, I'm dead, oh, that me. kills me. Like stuff like that when anything, when it's just like put death, put like death, dying, killing, all that stuff when it's put into the concept, con context of being like a joke i just like don't find that funny and when people say like oh my god i'm dead like that kills me or like if i if i ever did that like or you know when people feel sick and they're like i feel so sick like i'm dying or like yeah i don't like stuff like that you know i just don't think anyone should ever joke about death or dying or when people something bad happens to someone and they say like oh my god i literally like almost killed myself it's like no you no, didn't like yeah. don't don't do that don't say that when we're drunk about people that. and someone says that around you and i'm like in the yeah sense, i literally my anxiety goes through the roof because i'm like oh my god maggie doesn't like it like i, yeah, I know don't like it but i just tell them too i'm like hey <laughs> just let you know in a nice way like that. I'm just like mm. and you usually look at me and then they're, they're like what and you're like Maggie hates that <laughs> yeah, that's what happens like I don't call them literally no, we're with I just look at you like, and, like, and I go and, and they're like Ooh. I'm like waiting for your reaction to be like don't say that like don't put that into the universe yeah and then the person's like what and I'm just like mm. I don't like that. my thing I what I don't like is kind of like that but I don't like when people put stuff out into the universe like same literally same uh, don't when put it's it like, out into the universe just don't yeah when people say like oh i thought or just about like a situation if someone asks like oh did you i'll give an example so tyler's speaker in his car his brand new car that yes. got, his speaker was broken and so he had to bring it into the dealership and get it fixed and this is like so minor 
it's just something that like I noticed I'm using it as an example not that I whatever but he was talking about it with his parents and he was just like oh I like thank god it got fixed like I didn't know if they'd be able to fix it and little things like that like it yeah. was just like why would you even have like a doubt it's like about having doubts you know what I mean yeah and like putting that stuff out there being like oh well I don't think this is gonna happen this could never happen or even just saying like, something about yourself like if you look in the mirror and you're like oh like I look like I look bad today. I look yeah, bad just today. Like, like speaking like, things out speaking loud. Thing out, speaking things out loud and like putting it out there. Just don't do it because then it, yeah. that's like make that's like basically it's like manifesting. manifesting it. It. Yeah. <sighs> so you better just instead of saying that, that, just be like say something, turn it into positivity, and then it's gonna come out positive. You know. Yeah. Just like let those thoughts pass, and then just don't put any energy in. So that's my big pet peeve. <laughs> I feel that. Do you think you'd ever move to LA? A lot of questions are we would yeah. ever move. Personally, I like visiting there. I like I going love for like visiting. Vacation. But I love Boston. Me too. I, I love the season. Don't like like I don't know, like yeah, the winter like stinks because it's very, very cold and gloomy. Mm -hmm. But I still love it. I There's feel like good things about it. It's re it feels like real life here. I don't know if it's just because like we grew up here, but it feels like I feel like in LA, a lot of people asked if we would move to LA and I just feel like at least for me it feels a little bit like unrealistic like it, it wouldn't be real life like everything's just so Instagram picture perfect and I feel like if you're it out there it's stress. almost like who are you what do you do how many followers do you have like you always have to make sure you look good like everyone is just doing the same thing I don't know I feel like it would be not like the type of life I want to live personally but yeah. that's just me and I feel like but I love visiting it's just so real and it's just so like normal and like yeah it's just like just chill like and everyone goes at their own pace and does whatever the frick they want how do you guys manage your finances so well well they're assuming yeah a lot of questions are about finance we finance we both and like have how we save money and stuff like that we have a financial advisor and like tax advisor so we have people managing our money which is something our dad set up for us when we started our first YouTube started channels. like when our YouTube started to make money yeah so we both knew that we wanted to get help because with taxes taxes like, and all, all this stuff, stuff because we are self-employed so there's a lot that goes into it rather than like working for a company who like kind of does it all for you you get taxes withheld from your checks and then you get like your tax return at the end of the year it's different with youtube like we have to physically pay taxes um and we do it quarterly so once every season and we have financial advisors that help us with our money and we invest mm -hmm. and it, that's we're something very, i never talk about yeah me either but i mean i'm so grateful and we yeah. are so lucky that we are able to do that and get the help because both of us just didn't want to end up looking back and being like oh my god why did we not like why were we not smart with our money that's like the one thing i was like super scared about in the beginning i just never knew how much like i had to save and how much like i could be spending just because youtube's like such a different job but we have somebody helping with us with it so every month we they go through all of our bank expenses savings, and bank savings yeah. and then we put money into savings it just gets taken right out of our account every month already um we put money away and we invest in stuff so we have people helping us which we're so grateful yeah, for obviously I'm so grateful i have them <laughs> it's such a good help wow and even just like asking your parents too that's the reason why i feel like in the beginning i felt so kind of like i just felt off i didn't know what to do i kind of felt lost is because our parents got divorced and i felt like i couldn't just like go ask them for help but if you just like can ask your parents your parents know use your parents so much their, like full advantage because they literally know everything yeah and just parents like learning everything. and maybe even mm -hmm. like friends that your parents have who will like work in finance and stuff or like and they teacher. if they have like little tips yeah even a teacher like, like my like not professor teacher, yeah professor too but well yeah not your teacher college in student. high school he literally like i was just starting with our financial advisors mm -hmm. it was my junior no my senior year and i would like ask him questions also to have a better understanding of what yeah. i was doing with them and i was learning it in class too and it was great because i could apply my real life to class so it was like i understood it a lot that's more and then i got college too. too so yeah it was nice definitely use your resources and ask yeah. the people like in or your life like, too 
read books on it too. There's books out there. Do you guys share Milo? <laughs> no, Milo is my dog. And Zeus is my dog. Zeus is Emma's dog. Yeah, they're but brothers. They're brothers at heart. Yeah. <laughs> What's one memory you'll never forget? I feel like the memories I'll never forget are like every time that we've gone and like watched the sunrise. Yeah. I just never forget those moments. Those moments are the best. Like whether we're on vacation and we watch the sunrise or we go in Boston or we go on the Cape, I just feel like I never will forget them. They're my like favorite. Quiet, just like so yeah, it's like calm. life is just calm and it's at like a standstill. Yeah, literally nothing in that moment matters, <laughs> but the sunset <laughs> or the sunrise. What's a memory that I'll never forget? That or all of our experiences together when we're on trips. Yeah. Me either. I'll never yeah. forget those like Hawaii. Like, it's so fun because we travel the world together and us living together. That's something that like we're living it right yeah. now. But when we're I'm gonna older, I'm gonna look back be like, and be like, like whoa. Of so. life and be like, oh my god. What's your dream goal in life? Like I want, hmm, it's so hard to put into words, but I want to like, you just want to have like, you just, your main goal in life is to be surrounded by love and mm -hmm. light and just to have your family be super close yeah. and like I just want I want to give my kids and my family kind of just like a a different life than a like different life yeah like not that they had a bad no life. not at all but I want to be able to I want to like sit down at dinner and like yeah. have a family dinner and That'll have like your parents oh. be like in love like yes, be in like, love I want to be in, so in love with my husband and I want my kids to be like to look at like their parents be like damn like my parents are in love. Like they oh, love, love each that. other forever. And like I want my kids to just feel so loved and like not be afraid to like tell me anything mm -hmm. and just like I just want like a loving family and I want us when we have families to like be close and yeah. like you know how mom and auntie were so I'm close. going to auntie's and your yeah. kids will come over yeah. and I'll like chef them I up want, a meal. I just want us to all just be so 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 close and to have just like a loving, loving family. I love that. My goal in life is to have like a loving family, be happy and live simply and just spend as much time with my family and the people that I love and really make the most out of my life, especially with, I don't know, just like my career, my family. I just feel like not holding myself back because I feel like it's kind of easy to let all of the noise happening around you get to you but i posted something on my instagram today from ed Milet, who i love mm -hmm. and he said just like by the end of your life when you're like basically on your deathbed the haters aren't going to be around you like they're going to be nowhere to be found like you really are just going to be there like, with yourself and you want to look back on your life as a whole and be like i did everything that i ever wanted to i didn't let anything hold me back and i just like spent time with people i loved and yeah, that's like yeah. how I want to live my life. Just like unapologetic and just like surrounded by everyone I love and like making that a priority. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. a human connection is just so incredible and I just want to be able to live life to the fullest and like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. Like that. So, yeah. Woo! yeah. That is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys don't know Maggie, <sighs> this is her. This is, um, this is my sister. I get questions being like, is Maggie McDonald Emma McDonald's sister? Yeah. yeah, I'll have all her stuff down below, Instagram, YouTube, where you can find her. <laughs> and okay. yeah, that concludes the little you ask, we tell. Let me know if you guys want more of these, what you guys want from us. We could do like a weekly. Us as a, a unit. Us as a unit. Yeah, a weekly video. Cool. Let us know cool. what you want to see next from us. Peace and love. Love you guys. Bye.